Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install one of the best AI powered image editor for free, all local, all private. I will be stepping you through a simple step by step tutorial which would enable you to install this locally. You can use it on Windows, you can use it on Mac or Linux or whatever your operating system is. The beauty of this magic quill is that it enables you to edit your images with a stroke of brush. If you don't want to install it, they also have this hugging face demo and I will also drop the link to it in video's description where you can simply go, upload your image and then from there you can edit the image. For example, I just uploaded this image from my local system and then I can what I can do, I can just click on this plus icon or plus brush and then I can just simply draw something whatever you want to draw maybe I'll say something like this and pardon my drawing skills I'm just trying to draw something some animal and then click on this icon here it says kangaroo click on run let's see if it is able to generate another kangaroo on this image let's wait for it i will let it run so that all you also see the speed now this is a hugging fist demo there is a lot of load there so it might not work all the time but sometimes if you are lucky so there is a long queue there you go if you like it you can simply select here or you can regenerate it properly and there is a kangaroo here if you call it a kangaroo but of course you would just need to make it better maybe you could also guide it through prompt and then there are few parameters which you can set not only that you can also remove the stuff from here you can uh, change the background and you can <clears throat> do a lot of stuff with it let's try it out let's try to get it installed locally and then we will try it out freely because i also real uh, you know sense that this online demo doesn't work as good as the offline version which we can install locally okay so for that first let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpu so do check them out this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. And while I create this Conda environment, I would also like to mention that VRAM I know is a big issue for many people. You can run this magic quill on 8 GB of VRAM, 12 GB of VRAM. The speed would be a bit slow but you can run it as per their GitHub repo. I haven't tried it on 8 GP or 16 GP, but if they are saying, I take their word for it. Okay, so let's wait for this to, uh, virtual environment to be created. And now let's git clone the repo of this magic quill. And as I said, I will drop the link to it in video's description. And that is all done. Next up, let's download the model. You can either download this model with this wget command or and it is going to download the zip file for you or you could download it from hugging face make sure that you have 25 gig of hard disk space available in order for this to get downloaded and you can see that it is showing me around seven to eight minutes even with this good download speed so let's wait for it the model is downloaded next we need to unzip the model file in the same directory let's wait for it models have been unzipped let me show you what is the space looks like so it is occupying around 58 gig of space so make sure that you have that much and we might just delete that unzip file now anyway i'll delete it later on let's now install our uh, torch and torch vision this is going to take a couple of minutes and next we need to install gradio because we will be using it in GUI. And now let's install the Lava. First, we just need to move this pyproject.toml file there. And then we need to install it. And this is going to install the Lava for us. Let me first paste it. Just give me a sec to paste it properly. 
So this is where I'm copying the pyproject.toml and then we just need to install it. This is going to take a minute or so. That is done. Next up, we need to install all the general requirements from the root of the repo. Again, this is going to take a minute. And this is all the installation we needed to do. Let me launch this magic quill now with a gradio demo. And it is loading the checkpoints of the model. And the first time when you will run it, it is also going to download this Polish model. I think this is for sequence classification. And there you go, Magic Quill is running on our local host at port 7860, which is a default Gradio port. So let me open it. And there you go, our Magic Quill is running. And if you see, unlike the Hugging Face demo, all the options are enabled in this local one. As all the models are also loaded, let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption. It is just around 9 gig of VRAM it requires, but I think it should be good on 8 GB of VRAM too. Okay, so now let me upload an image and then we will start playing around with it. Okay, so let me do it in real time in front of you. So I'm going to upload an image from my local system and these are all AI generated images. So what I'm going to do, maybe I'll just change this t-shirt to something else. So first thing we need to do is to just increase this opaque sign so that it will uh, be removing this circle here. So I'm just going to select this minus brush, remove edge brush, and then I'll just make it a bit bigger. And then I'll just draw on this shirt because I want to change it to maybe something else. So let me quickly do that. You don't have to be exact in order to remove it, but it's always a good idea to cover all of it so that there will be no uh, malfunction here. So, okay, so that is done. And maybe I'll just go up now and I'll say, okay, instead of shirt, do red bikini. And then let's go down, click on run, and I will let it run so that you would see the speed of it. You see, it's very faster than the other one and there you go how good is that look at the quality and then if you like the image you just click on this accept and then your new image is here which you can download and use quite easily okay so this is where we have removed stuff you can also add it with this plus sign let me reload this image you really don't have to reload it um, for example if you just want to put a necklace here so I'll just go here and then do something like this. And then you can click on this brush icon. You see it is uh, telling you color. Maybe I'll say, okay, color. And then color is done. And then you just run it. Sometimes it doesn't get it right. You just have to rerun it. There you go. So we have the color here. And then you can go with, maybe you will say, okay. Uh, diamond necklace and let me do the diamond necklace and you see that very intelligently it has matched the color of bikini there you go so we have now diamond necklace and look at the quality of the image this is simply out of this world okay now let's put on a shirt here maybe I'll just go up a little I'll go again pick the plus one um, and then I'll just click here and then I'll start drawing. Maybe I'll just start from here. Let me quickly draw it. And you see, as soon as I have finished, it's automatically saying shirt. So I said, yes, okay, let's do the shirt. Let's run it. Let's wait for it. And you can see how quick that is. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing. It identified the arms and everything and you can click here and it has selected it amazing and it has even changed the color of that color let me see the vram consumption now there you go so we are now consuming close to 13.5 gig of vram so i'm just giving you transparently what it is using maybe if you are using 8 gb 12 gb vram it might offload some of it to your discord ram so that is where you might experience some speed but try it out if you have 8 gb 12 gb and let me know your experience with it and now let me select any other image 
In order to select a new image, just click on this upward arrow load button here on the top left and then you can select any other image. Let me go through my image um, and then I'm just going to maybe go with this one. Okay, so maybe I will just put something here. So I'll just click on plus button here and then maybe I'll just draw something randomly and I'm just going to draw something very random here. So don't judge me for my skill. It says leaf. I said no leaves. I'll just say maybe. Okay, let's go with leaf. Let's see what it does with the leaves. It is processing. There you go. So there are some leaves here, as you can see. Maybe I'll draw something else now. I'll say, nope, this is not good. Let me go with something else. I thought, okay, maybe I'll just try that kangaroo one here once more. So I just click here and then let me draw a kangaroo. And there you go. So I draw it <clears throat> and then I typed kangaroo there and there is another kangaroo. So if I select it, we have a new kangaroo here. How good is that? I'm very impressed by this tool. I think I could just keep playing with it all day. And in the final example, let me show you how you can maybe shorten the hair or maybe change the hair color of some person. So I'll just randomly select maybe this image. I will just make it a bit bigger. I'll go with plus sign and then let me create uh, maybe I'll just sorry. I'll I'm just selecting edge here. Okay, let me make it a bit bigger. And you can select the edge from here from the left. I'm just creating these different edges here. Maybe I'll just go with whole black i'll make all the colors black you can even just do a section of coloring maybe you just want to create streaks or that sort of stuff and i'll just keep it short so that it will create a short hair so it was blonde i'll just say maybe black hair and then let me go down and click on run here there you go amazing stuff you see i didn't even touch the previous one and it was so accurate it has turned it here and then it has also shot on it amazing stuff um, i think i have no words to really praise this this is simply the best ai image editing software which i have used to date free or local private you just need to have these resources which i just shown you try it out let me know what do you think and can i please ask you a favor to do if you like the content uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed thank you Please do me a favor and share it among your network through email, through social media. That is all the marketing I do. So I would highly appreciate. Thank you for all the support.